Crafting with the Crazy Hair Kids. Hi, I'm Kevin. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Kamari. I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm Kiara. We're the Crazy Hair Kids. We're Khalil and Keisha. We're the parents. We may pop in from time to time if you need a little help. We love music, and we love making our own musical instruments. We hope you'll love making musical instruments, too. Let's get started! All right. Hi, it's Miss Frida. I'm back with you again with my friends, the Crazy Hair Kids, and they've asked me today to show you how to make a tambourine. Um, a tambourine is very simple. We use two paper plates. These are really pretty, but it doesn't matter how they look because guess what? This pretty side of the plate is going to go toward each other, so you're not even going to see that. If you'd like before you get started, let's decorate these first. You can use crayons and draw something nice on yours. Let me show you one that I drew already of a finished tambourine, and I have I just drew a bunch of different little fruits using my crayons. You can draw anything if you'd like. Today, I thought I'd just show you how we could very quickly decorate this by putting some stickers. I found some of these little colored round stickers in my office at home and decided that boy, those would look really, really cool. And luckily, I have them in different colors. So if you have some in different colors, again, you don't have to use stickers. You can draw, you can put all kinds of things on there, you can use markers or colored pencils or crayons, anything you'd like to decorate yours. I am just doing this to give you an idea of what you could do if you wanted. Now see how much prettier that looks than just white, but it's okay if you leave it solid colored, whatever color it is. On the back side, I found these cool stickers, little monsters with googly eyes. I felt I would put these on. Some have stars. I'll put a star. Oh, I like this little guy. He's jumping a rope. So I'm going to put him on there too. And, ooh, this person is using a hula hoop. I like the idea of being active and outside and using hula hoops and jumping rope. Although if it's too hot outside, Make sure if you're playing outside, same thing I've told you once before, drink plenty of water. It's important to stay hydrated. So I'll just put a few more little funny stars on here so that I feel like this looks really, really cool. Oh, I don't have too much more room on here for other stickers. I can't get that star off, so I think I'll use this one instead. And maybe one more. Again, there's no right or wrong. Do yours whatever way you like it. So these are my two sides of my tambourine. To put your pieces together, lay one on top of the other. If you have a stapler at home, or if you want to ask, guess who, mom and dad to help you, you can staple your pla paper plates together. I would start at opposite ends just so you can hold it together better. The other thing, if you don't have a stapler, you can tape them together. I would take pieces of tape and just put these over one end to the other. It doesn't have to be every single inch of the paper plate. So I'm going to do a little of both. I'm going to do some tape and some staples and I'm only going to do one half of this together. Notice I've got my staples on opposite ends here and I'm putting tape here. You can use one or the other, you can use both. The reason I'm keeping the other side open, I'll show you just in one minute. To make a really cool sound with the tambourine, something that works beautifully are jingle bells. So since I haven't put this side together all the way, that's the opening where I can pick up all my jingle bells and just drop them into my tambourine. I have different sizes of jingle bells, but it doesn't matter if they're different sizes or the same size. I 
put quite a few in there. Now that they're in there, again, you can either use your stapler or you can use tape. And that will hold all the jingle bells inside when you tape close the other side. It's an easy craft. It's a fun craft. It's something that you can make a lot of fun percussion-like music with. Let's see, I have this section. I'm double-checking. See, that one's a little too wide. I don't want those jingle bells to fall out. So I'm going to make sure that I cover all the edges and get everything done. And now that I have everything closed enough that I'm not going to have jingle bells escaping. Now I can make music. You can shake your tambourine. You can hit it against your hand. If you make more than one, like I did, you can make them small. You can use larger size plates. I used a larger size and I used a little monster sticker on the inside. You can go around the house having a good time or making lots of fun music with your new tambourine. So, again, thank you for joining me today with my crazy hair kids and having fun again. Enjoy making music with your brand new tambourines. Hope to see you back again soon. Bye. Thank you for joining us today. Bye-bye.